for years, one name has dominated the headlines. Tesla, Elon Musk's brainchild, the poster child of innovation, the future of driving. But on the other side of the world, a sleeping giant has awakened. A challenger armed with cutting edge technology, government backing, and a hunger to dominate. And it's called BYD. In 2023, BYD sold over 3 million cars, 1.2 million more than Tesla sold. BYD's sales are up over 60% year over year, compared to Tesla's 38%. In China, the world's largest EV market, BYD is king. So has Tesla's reign already ended? This is BYD, the dawn of the electric dragon. To understand BYD's meteoric rise, we need to rewind. Picture China in the 1980s and 90s, a nation on the cusp of an economic explosion. Amidst rapid industrialization, a young chemist named Wang Chuanfu saw an opportunity, not in cars, but in batteries. In 1995, BYD was born, a small battery manufacturer in Shenzhen, with a staff of 20. By the early 2000s, they were supplying giants like Motorola and Nokia. In 2008, no one other than Warren Buffett invested $232 million in BYD. But back then, the world, including a certain Elon Musk, laughed at the idea of Chinese EVs. Why do you laugh? Merely is trying to compete. Why do you laugh? Have you seen their car? I have seen their car, yes. In fact, at the Berkshire House. They were seen as cheap, uninspired, destined to fail. Even as recently as 2011, Musk publicly dismissed BYD as a competitor. But China had a plan, a vision that went far beyond just building cars. They saw an opportunity to leapfrog the competition and dominate a new industry. Grappling with severe pollution and dependence on foreign oil, China made a strategic decision to leapfrog the combustion engine era entirely. Billions were invested in EV development, subsidies, infrastructure, and a homegrown industry. China spent over $200 billion on EV support between 2009 and 2022. Reliance on foreign oil was a critical vulnerability Imports skyrocketed from a mere 74,000 barrels a day in 1990 to over 11 million in 2023, while domestic production stagnated. This growing gap meant that any disruption to the global oil supply, any embargo or geopolitical instability could cripple their economy. China recognized this vulnerability and saw EVs and other new energy technologies as a way to break free from this dependence. Joining the WTO in 2001 opened doors for technological exchange and further fueled this ambition. The ministerial conference so agrees. While Western automakers saw China as a market for their existing gasoline cars, China was quietly building the foundation for an EV future. Western giants like Volkswagen, once confident in their dominance, underestimated the speed and scale of China's plans. China implemented comprehensive EV promotion, creating consumer subsidies, mandated electric government vehicles, and built a nationwide charging network. By 2024, China had over 3.5 million charging stations, more than any other country in the world. Chinese cities saw clearer skies as EV adoption soared, driven by incentives and charging availability. This policy success paved the way for China's EV dominance. BYD, fueled by government backing and relentless innovation, started to shock the world. Their blade battery technology, safer and more energy dense, became a game changer. 
this revolutionary design is more compact, resists overheating, and extends driving range. And then came the cars. The Yangwang U8, a luxury SUV that can literally float for 30 minutes, turning disaster into survival. It also boasts a 1,100 horsepower engine and advanced off-road capabilities. The U9, a supercar that can jump over obstacles, boasts a top speed of 392 kilometers per hour and accelerates from zero to 100 in a mind-bending 2.3 seconds. These aren't just cars, they're technological marvels. They're packed with features like advanced driver assistance systems, cutting-edge infotainment, and luxurious interiors. And their price are significantly lower than comparable Teslas. BYD is not just competing on price, they're competing on innovation, and they're winning, offering cutting-edge technology at a price point that's accessible to a much wider range of consumers. This is a major threat to Tesla's dominance. This threat crystallizes the most in the numbers game. In 2023 alone, the company sold over 3 million electric vehicles, a jaw-dropping figure that eclipses Tesla's 1.8 million global deliveries. But the real story lies in China, the world's largest EV market, where BYD isn't just competing, it's dominating, claiming nearly 40% of all EV sales, leaving rivals scrambling to catch up. BYD is now the world's largest EV manufacturer by volume. Their sales in China are exploding, and they're rapidly expanding globally, entering Europe, Southeast Asia, and Latin America. They're building factories overseas, partnering with local distributors, and adapting their models to meet the needs of different markets, putting pressure on established automakers everywhere they go. This is a global offensive, and BYD is winning at it. Western car makers, once confident that China was their gold mine, are now facing a harsh reality. The Chinese EV wave is washing away their market share. BYD's growth is not just impressive, it's disruptive. It's a wake-up call for the entire auto industry. The old rules no longer apply, the future of mobility is electric, and China is firmly in the driver's seat. But is it really game over for Tesla? Not so fast. While BYD excels in vehicle technology and production, Tesla holds a different kind of strength, a powerful ecosystem. Elon Musk isn't just building cars, he's architecting a connected world. Consider the Supercharger Network, a vast and reliable charging infrastructure boasting over 50,000 superchargers globally. This provides Tesla owners a uniquely seamless and convenient experience, a major selling point unmatched by any other EV maker. Tesla Energy, with its solar panels and power walls, presents a vision of sustainable living. Homeowners can generate their own electricity, store it with power walls, and power their homes and EVs. A complete closed-loop system promoting energy independence. And then there's the undeniable Musk factor. Love him or hate him, Elon Musk is a global brand, a celebrated visionary, and a master of generating hype. He's painting a future where Tesla cars connect to Starlink satellites, where Neuralink's brain-computer interfaces might revolutionize driving, and where Optimus robots could become integrated into our daily lives. It's a compelling and futuristic vision that BYD cannot yet rival. Tesla's brand power remains undeniable. They've cultivated a remarkably loyal following, a community of enthusiasts deeply invested in the company's mission, willing to pay a premium. The comparison to Apple versus Samsung is insightful. BYD, like Samsung, might achieve higher unit sales. But Tesla, mirroring Apple, commands premium prices, enjoys stronger brand loyalty, and achieves higher profit margins, largely thanks to the cult of personality around its CEO. 
In 2023, Tesla's revenue reached nearly $97 billion, while BYD's was $84 billion. Despite selling fewer vehicles, Tesla's price premium and brand strength give them a revenue edge. While BYD emphasizes delivering incredible value, Tesla cultivates a premium image, attracting customers who are willing to invest more for the brand and the promise of a futuristic ecosystem. The core questions remain. Can BYD cultivate a brand that truly rivals Elon Musk's? Can they construct an ecosystem that genuinely matches Tesla's interconnected world? Ultimately, it's a battle of ecosystems, not solely EVs, and currently Tesla is winning in that arena. The battle between BYD and Tesla isn't just about cars, it's a proxy war in the larger geopolitical and economic competition between the US and China. This is about more than just market share, it's about technological supremacy, economic dominance and national security. The US, wary of China's growing technological prowess, sees BYD's expansion as a potential threat. Tariffs and trade restrictions are being used to limit BYD's access to the US market, citing national security concerns. In 2024, the US imposed a 100% tariff on Chinese-made EVs, up from a previous 27.5%. But even this might not be enough to stop China's EV wave. China controls over 75% of the world's battery cell production capacity. They also dominate the processing of critical minerals like lithium, cobalt and graphite. The outcome will shape not just the car market, but the balance of power in the 21st century. The US-China tech war is heating up, and EVs are a key battleground. The US is investing heavily in its own EV industry, with initiatives like the Inflation Reduction Act, which provides billions of dollars in subsidies for domestic EV production. Will the US be able to protect its domestic auto industry from the Chinese onslaught? Or will BYD find a way to overcome these obstacles and conquer the American market? There are also concerns about data security and the potential for Chinese-made EVs to be used for surveillance. The stakes are high and the world is watching. According to leading research institutions, the global EV market is projected to reach 823 billion to 1.1 trillion by 2030. There's room for multiple players, but the competition will be fierce. The future is uncertain. Can Tesla's ecosystem and brand fend off BYD's tech and manufacturing strength? Will geopolitics further shape EVs? Could new battery tech disrupt the market again? Will self-driving cars arrive sooner than we think? One thing is sure. The EV revolution is just beginning. It's a dynamic, evolving story full of surprises, and the BYD-Tesla rivalry is a key, thrilling chapter in this global story. What do you think? Is Tesla's reign ending? Tell us what you think in the comments below and subscribe for more interesting stories.